Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is how to record a drum beat using the drum pads in BandLab. First, add a MIDI track. On the track mixer screen, below the last track, tap on the plus icon. Tap on MIDI Instruments. At the top of the screen, tap on the Drums tab. Tap on a drum kit to install it. Then tap on the drum kit again. Now turn on the metronome to keep your drumming in time with the beat. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on the metronome icon. So it is highlighted white and the metronome is turned on. Next, set the metronome to count you in before the recording starts. At the top of the screen, tap on the settings icon. Tap on count in, and tap on one bar. To record one pad at a time, switch on overdub. Tap on the toggle to the right of the words MIDI Overdub, so it is highlighted blue, and MIDI Overdub is switched on. The phone's latency can make it hard to hit the pads at the right time, so turn on Quantize. Tap on the toggle to the right of the words Quantize MIDI Recordings, so it is highlighted blue, and Quantize MIDI Recordings is switched on. Reducing the tempo will also make it easier to hit the pads at the right time. Tap on minus in the tempo section until the number above the words tap tempo says about 60. To record in overdub mode, we need to turn on looping and set the loop length. At the top of the screen, tap on the wave icon. At the top of the screen, tap on the brown section of the ruler so it turns orange. Then press your finger on the end of the orange section and drag your finger to the right until the orange section is two bars long. OK, so now we're ready to record our beat. At the bottom of the screen, tap on the red record button. At the top of the screen, watch the white dot on the ruler move along the ruler. Each vertical line on the ruler represents the beats of the bar. Notice how the white dot returns to the beginning when it reaches the end of the orange section and repeats. Now tap on the red stop button at the bottom of the screen. Now tap on the red record button again and tap on a pad in time with the metronome beep and the lines on the ruler. Then tap the red stop button. At this point, the notes are quantized, but they may not be exactly where you want them. So let's fix it. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on the sequencer icon. The notes appear as colored markers on the grid. Tap on the snap icon at the top right of the screen, so it is highlighted white, and snap is turned on. To move a note, press on a note and drag it. To move several notes together, press on a blank area in front of the first note until a circle appears around your finger. Then drag your finger across all the notes. Now press on one of the notes and drag the notes.
At the top right of the screen, tap on the X icon. Now tap on the record button again and tap on another pad. Then tap on the stop button. When you press on the play button, you can hear that both pads have now been recorded. If you are not happy with your recorded notes, you can either tap on the step sequencer icon again and move the notes. Or, at the bottom right of the screen, tap on the undo icon and record the notes again. Each time you tap on the undo, you will remove the notes you added in the last overdub loop recorded. So if you tap the pads on more than one repeat of the loop, you will need to tap the undo more than once to remove all the notes you recorded of that pad. To add more pads, simply press the record button again. When you are happy with your recorded beat, tap on the metronome icon at the bottom right of the screen to turn off the metronome. Then tap on the settings icon at the top of the screen. Tap on plus in the tempo section and set the tempo back to the song speed. Then tap on the wave icon at the top of the screen. Tap on the orange section of the ruler so it turns brown and loop is turned off. Then tap on the X icon at the top right of the screen. Now that you have a beat, you can loop it to fit your song. Tap on the recorded MIDI beat section on the drum track. Then tap on the loop icon in the pop-up menu. Press on the loop icon at the end of the recorded drum section and drag it to the right. Then tap the tick icon at the bottom right of the screen.